Hi guys, Future Concepts Screencast here with a quick look at Roxio Toast 10 Titanium for the Mac. Roxio Toast 10 Titanium is your pretty much your one-stop shop for anything to do with CD and DVD burning. Uh, you can burn CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays for both uh, Mac operating system and for Windows PCs. You can watch all of your CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays and sync them to your iPhone and iPod Touch or any other uh, mobile devices that you might be using. Today I'm going to show you how to actually burn a video file that you've copied with any DVD ripper. In the last episode I showed you how to use Rip It, which is the one that I prefer to use for ripping DVDs to your Mac. The first thing that you want to do is find your video file so when you burn something like for example using rip it it's going to show up as a DVD media file instead of a an AVI file or what have you so when you look at my desktop here you're gonna see that I have return of the king as a DVD player file to switch that over to something you can move over to toast you're going to do a get info and where it says name and extension you're going to switch it out to AVI and if you look at my desktop it's now a folder in that folder you have the video TS folder which is when you go in there you have your VOB files or your video file so let's close that and you're going to see in the media browser on Toast 10 you're going to see Return of the King so all you need to do is drag that video TS folder over to where it says video, the third tab on the top left hand side, and it says video TS folders. You're not going to burn the first option, DVD video, you're not going to do that because you actually need video files. So you need, would have need to, needed to convert video TS to AVI or to MPG or to MP4. So instead of doing that, just save your video TS folder and drag that over. And as you see on the bottom, the file size is 7.94 gigs. And as we all know, a regular DVD is 4.7 gigs, so it's not going to hold that movie. So you need to use a DVD dual layer disc. That will hold the 7.9 gigs. And as we all know, Lord of the Rings is a three and a half hour movie. So if you look here, click Options, and this is where you actually choose what you want to uh, copy to a DVD. And on this disc, the disc that I copied, the, the only thing that was on it was the movie. As you see, Return of the King was 3 hours and 20 minutes. There are no extras on this disc, it's just the main movie. From there, what you're going to do is insert your dual layer DVD. And once it's inserted, you're going to click on this big red button and it's going to ask you to you choose your recorder. Most of us only have just the one recorder, so that's going to be automatically selected. And your write speed. The default is 8, 8x. Uh, you can go, sometimes I usually go lower, I go to 4x. It takes longer to actually burn it to the disk, but uh, I find that the video quality is a little better there's no hardly any skipping at all it just it looks like a professionally made DVD down here you can choose your copies how many number of copies you want to burn and these settings the right mode settings these are all automatically selected I always leave them as whatever it displays so then you just click record and it starts to burn. It usually, depending on the movie, since Lord of the Rings is a th uh, three hour and 20 minute movie, uh, it'll take probably about an hour, an hour and a half to burn, but it is well worth it. Some other things that you can do with Toast 10, like I said, you can use this program for any CD, DVD, Blu-ray burning that you need to do. When you're doing a data DVD or CD, you have the option of burning it for use on a Mac only. Mac and PC, you have the option of burning a DVD-ROM, an ISO 9660, and a photo disk. 
And so, for example, photo disk, you'd be just dragging pictures into this area, and you could actually have the background as a color, a picture that you select yourself, a slideshow, whatever you want. The next tab is an audio CD. This is where you drag sound files, audio tracks that you've recorded or bought on iTunes or whatever, and you would burn it here. You could have a music DVD. For those of you that have DVD players that are able to play music DVDs, then you'd have a lot more, you could fit a lot more music on a, on a DVD than you can on a CD. You can burn an MP3, and you can burn and burn an enhanced audio CD. For video, I just showed you, you could do a DVD bit video. Like I said, the video files that you'd be moving over in this section would be AVI, MP4, MPG, Blu-ray video. This is a plugin that you would need to get from the Toast 10 Titanium website. Um, you can burn very high definition projects from this section. A video TS folder is what I did showing you earlier. The compilation means you can drag more than one uh, video TS folder into the area. So if you have uh, you know, shorter movies, documentaries that are only half hour, 45 minutes to an hour long, then you could probably put two or three on one DVD. The BDMV folder is just another plugin for the HD uh, Blu-ray plugin. And then AVC HD archive, that's when you connect an AVC HD compatible camera straight to your Mac and you can just copy the video that you have on that camera straight over to a DVD. Copy. This is where you do disk copy. And you can copy a DVD or a CD or Blu-ray that's not copy protected. And you just copy it straight over to a, another blank disk or you can create an image file that you can burn later. And then the last section is where you can convert video. So for example, if I have a video content that's on a DVD that's not copy protected, then I can convert that so I can move it over to iTunes or to any other folders that you have. You can convert an image file, convert video TS folders to other areas, convert video files, and then the options that you have for conversion are these. You have Apple hardware, which is Apple TV, the iPhone, the iPod Touch, uh, the video iPod. Video game systems, you have PS3, the PSP, the Xbox 360, the mobile devices, and then the file format. You have DV, you have HDV, you have H.264, the MPG4, and QuickTime. So it gives you many different options for you to burn and make your video as optimal as possible for whatever medium you're planning to show it on. Alright, so that's a quick look at Toast 10 Titanium.